what? So what's this stone that was left behind after judgment? Huh. George's physical body was erased, but only that peculiar stone was left. Do you think it was inside him all along? You know... Heck if I know. Weird vibes all around if you ask me. Hey, what the... Check out the shape of the stone! I think it's the exact shape as the holes in our gear. Huh? Huh? You're right, mate. Perhaps it's some kind of socket. That's what it looks like to me, at least. Well, where there's a socket, there's a way. Let's try inserting it. Huh? Wait, are you sure it's safe? Well huh? Oh, man. What the heck? You're kidding me. Guys, I think I can use George's gift now. This thing is like... A crystallized form of George's abilities, I think. Huh. Well, our instruments were our instruments equipped with this sort of function all along. Their standard issue from sealed. Why... Why here in the pillar? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was fishy from the beginning. Alright, fine. From here on out, we, we do whatever we gotta do. Damn. So the end expects us to use our deceased ally's abilities in order to survive. What do you think this all means? New equipment's available at the generator. So, okay, so it'll tell me whenever it happens. Fate Materia. Fate materia are crystallizations of gift abilities that a unit leaves behind when he or she is erased. Equipping this material will allow a, a, a character to use the gift abilities that the erased unit had been using. Each character can equip up to a maximum of two fate materia. Okay. So this is going to be interesting because now I think I'm, I'm going to try to test my theory that... You're supposed to rotate different crew members in and out over time, and then see if you get a notification that there's a traitor in the group. And, uh... That'll be interesting, because that, that's gonna make the game feel more, uh, more like XCOM, in that... Uh, in XCOM, when you're switching out your, your party members, uh, it, it's less to do with uh, who you want to take with you, and oftentimes it's just a matter of who's available. Because when people take... when people get wounded in XCOM, they're out of commission for, like, 17 days, or 7 days, or 30 days, and stuff like that, so... Uh, oftentimes you just literally have a, a, a mission appears and you're like, oh crap, we gotta do a mission. And then it's like, who's available? You gotta make a four-person party out of these five available characters and out of your t ten overall. I'm like, oh crap. And you're just stuck with who you're stuck with. And I think that's the, uh... Is it equipped on him right now? It's not. Oh, he's erased. I wonder if I'll be able to level him up still after he's dead. That's curious. I kind of got him to like me too. Weird... I shout random Japanese words out, man. <laughs> uh, this is weird. So, if I, yeah, this, that'll be interesting to test. I'll have to come up with a notation system for being able to even show on my notes, like, who is in which each team and how to properly show which one's passed and fail and stuff like that. That'll be interesting. Okay, um... His power... He dropped sense. Look at all that. What the hell? Deep freeze death marks adaptation, rewrite, dominion, electrospark, hyperdrive, hi possession, g-force. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's everybody. That's everyone in the entire game except for George himself and the main character who I presume can't die. Does that mean that there's a way to make George survive? Because, like, half of his... Oh, he does have a suspiciously short experience tree, if you look at it over here. Like, he's supposed to die immediately. But then, weirdly, he has this whole setup that leads to... all of these skills. Okay, so he drops sense. Doubles the number of analyses that Mind's Eye adds. Sure, great if you have that skill, but... what? who has that skill? Alright, so... Let's go look at show. Do you have a sense skill? Mitigation side effects death mark. Electrospark brain hacker. I don't think it's applicable for you. How about you? Can you use sense? Warp flow, possession. Sense. Silent slash. Melee attack that deals more damage from behind. Low chance to instantly kill. And it's... There's dive. 
So if I want this, I need to get Kinetic Mastery, which upgrades G-Force skills. Silent Slash is a G-Force skill, and then... Dive is a G-Force skill that I'm using right now, so going into Kinetic Mastery is not a crazy idea. I might do that. Yeah. I like Nagi, and I might specialize in G4 skills, so let's try that. Let's try equipping Sense. First of all, let's test to see what, if other people can just casually change who's equipping it. I have to unequip it as you first. Okay, so this is not a permanent choice in any means. Good to know. So I can just casually unequip it as I go. So now I've got Sense equipped. So I, I can get Silent Slash. That'll be interesting. Okay. Nobody has experience enough to level up right now? No. Alright, so George is dead. And now we have to get used to trying to uh, narrow down who the... I almost said killer, uh, who the traitor is each time, because they gave me a freebie. Just in case I thought that maybe there wasn't a traitor and it was just a narrative trick and they were just screwing with me. Uh, now I do, in fact, uh, need to track them down. Generator. I can sell George's weapon. Goodbye. So I've got five grand, not bad. Iron Fist? I may want to choose carefully who to prioritize here. Let's see, you're always in this party, so I'm definitely giving you a weapon. I'll get these two, because I like these characters. Get a fist weapon. You're also pretty great, because you're the healer character. We're gonna run out of we're gonna run out of options pretty quickly here, aren't we? I'll get one more of these. Is that just about everybody? That's my limit, huh? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like one weapon short. Out of the Alpha Barretts. The only person that's not currently equipped with the next level of weapon is... Uh, jo Yoko, I believe. Yeah. That's fixable. When I sell them, I should be able to afford it. This whole thing slightly... This whole thing feels slightly slower than it needs to be. I think partly is because there's a little animation that plays half the time you touch anything. I'm at 1400, now I should be able to buy it. Almost there. There we go, everyone's ready for duty. Normal. Like, part of me is tempted to do the Mario Rabbids thing, where I was, like, prioritizing different characters over each other and stuff like that, but ultimately I think I need to, uh, equip everybody if I'm planning on rotating people out. How's dialogue looking? Okay, so he just flat out disappears from the tree. He's just gone. Also, surprising lack of conversations available here, considering the fact that we, uh, just killed somebody. I guess they had plenty of time to talk during the cutscene. What is it? What's the matter? Is something bothering you? I just wanted to talk. Huh, I see. To talk? Is this a consultation? I'll respond with, anyth with anything I can help with. Hmm. Now then, what kind of problem do you have? No. no. There's nothing of the, of the sort. I just thought I'd chat with you. Is that so bad? 
It's not bad, per se. They say per se so often in this game. Not a fan of small talk? That was me, actually. I wouldn't say that. It's just, I s simply don't know what to do. Talking without purpose or reason, I haven't done much of either until now. For me, it's something that wasn't necessary. At least, I just had to follow orders as a soldier. I see. Constantly being on the lookout is quite soldier-like, too. Makes sense. Is that how I seem? It's just, I don't know what I should do besides what I'm supposed to do. I haven't met anyone else who meets people the way I- the way you do. And? Am I being a nuisance? No. No, that's not what I meant. Though, I may just be confused. I'm not sure I understand. So if I was troubled by something, would that make it easier for you to talk with me? Hmm. Oh? Are you troubled? What are you troubled by? Is there anything I can do? You paid a visit because there's something concerning you, yes? Spit it out, show. Clinging to that notion, I see. Yes. A comrade is troubled. Of course it can I can't overlook it. If I have the means to solve it, I want to put forth as much effort as possible. No. Ah, that's what- that's not what I meant by it. But I see what you're saying now. Even though I haven't done anything, it's more like because you were desperately trying to do something for me. Thank you. I'm glad we got to talk. Idle chit-chat isn't so bad after all. I see. I see. I'm happy to hear that. The dialogue feels like aliens are talking in this game, kind of. <laughs> it's like not quite working. Like, something about the... Something about the, uh... I don't know what to call it. It's almost like the localization team technically translated it, but, like, didn't do so in a way that made it feel natural. So, like, the... It's the most unnat... Like, I can kind of... I can kind of grasp at what they're, they're tr probably trying to convey with each conversation, but I can't really say that it feels natural or genuine necessarily. It's a... It's not one. Well, now. We've really we've really just gotten used to the idea of what this game is and just ex start, started accepting what, like, what we're going through, aren't we? Huh. This makes the middle part glow. This doesn't make the top... The top next part glow. Interesting. We're at... This is difficulty three out of eight, apparently. The second floor. Reached only by sacrifice is unfamiliar. Hearts heavy, the group moves onward. It's called Merciless Tower. That's a big group on both sides. Okay. Number one. Make a little bit more sense as rank two. Let's come up with a configuration. So. First of all, I need to plan on different melee characters, because because that one's gone. So, let's say Ajito on three, Mana on one, Nagi can be in the back because they're the fastest one, so Hero can hang out over here, and we can do Zenji on five. Substitute some characters out a little bit. All right. Give myself a little separating line in my notes so I can better tell which area is the news stuff. Now that we're on the second floor. So I'm gonna try drawing a circle on each slot, and then I'll fill in the circle with an X if it turns out that the mission failed, I suppose. So, circle for Mana, circle for Ajito, circle for Sohiro, circle for uh, Zenji, that's Maeda. I have them. I only had Maeda written down, and Nagi. This leaves Himeno, Toya, Marco, and Yoko not in the party, and so we need those would be ones to check. Otherwise, so I'll see if the game gives me feedback as to whether or not there's a traitor in the party, and we'll try to proceed from there. It's kind of fun trying to unpack what the hell's going on in this game mechanically with the traitor system, although it won't be as fun if I, if it never starts making sense, but I think I'm onto something. Enemies, I didn't actually check. Okay, well, I don't know what they are anyway, so it's not really helpful. 
two drones, two melee characters, two more drones, and then whatever a Solaris is. Maybe it's another ranged enemy? Probably. Let's go. However... It's rather strange how there might be a traitor among us, but we still have to fight against these enemies altogether. Oh. Th they're coming! We need to work together to find them- to fight them! Indeed. Fight as a team, huh? I guess that's our new priority now? Easier said than done, though. Well... Considering how our fate lies in each other's hands. Mm. It's a bit difficult when we have to leave ourselves wide open to comrades who re we really can't trust. Uh... Yes, you can. Were you listening? You can all trust each other because if anyone wants to succeed at this, people can't die along the way. That rule was established. Nobody can die in the chamber or on the way to the chamber or everyone's screwed. So all of you, including the traitor, have to maintain each other's lives and keep each other safe. So you can trust each other until the moment you enter the chamber and then you have to figure out who the traitor is. How the hell the traitor is going to do their job or what their what the traitor's goal is exactly is iffy. There's less narrative, uh, there's less l narrative explanation for the traitor than I would I would have liked. I, I will say I'm a little disappointed so far in the traitor concept. We'll see if they iterate on it at all. But I was kind of hoping that there would be like story evidence and stuff like that for who the traitor is as we go along, like I'm playing Doctor Decker or something. But instead, it might be my little superpower at the end of each mission might be the only evidence, which is also a form of evidence, but I was hoping for more like a narrative evidence that we're supposed to deduce like what people are up to and why, why they're doing things, which is what makes the game Resistance so fun. By the way, if you have a group of tabletop friends and you haven't played Resistance yet, you, sh you should. I kindly ask you don't stab me in the back while I'm focusing on the enemy. Seriously? Man, this makes things complicated now. Maybe that's what the end wanted all along. You know... You know, ruin our teamwork and watch us fall apart from the inside. But that's... I can fight, if I'm with everyone. Mm -hmm. Our hearts are as one when we face our enemies. I believe in all of you. Everyone seems a little shaken. I suppose it's something that can't be helped, though. But even so... Let's go. I know there's lots- I know there's a lot on our minds, but we can't- we won't accomplish anything if we don't survive. But... We can't let everything end here. Not now. It's true, he could have just inserted one traitor just to screw with everybody. And they can't really assume that it's not the case. Even the way he teleported away, like, you could almost deduce that maybe he's not even dead. This area is very different from the one before. Does the end think to lighten our mood with a change of scenery? It shouldn't be any of his concern. That gives me the chills. A fresh backdrop. It's a shame we can't have a fresh start. It seems hardly possible. There's just too much looming over us. The view may have changed, but I sense the hostility in the area certainly hasn't. It's not a good feeling. I'd prefer to be in the middle of a war zone than here. If he's changing the scenery for us, he could have at least chosen a cuter locale. I'll be absolutely gutted if this is the kind of stuff I'll be seeing. It's a whole different environment. How's that possible? We'll be fine if we stick together. Such a drastic change should not be possible just by architecture alone. Perhaps the end is a greater anomaly than we stop to consider. Who gives a rat's ass? A little change of scenery doesn't scare me. I'd like it better if it were just a tad bit more... chic. You all heard them. The, the uh, pretend British lady <laughs> said gutted. Add that to the list, I suppose. By the way, this... <laughs> This, this whole game exists in such a completely... It's, it exists so completely ungrounded from reality. You can kind of tell that somebody that a company that made fantasy RPGs just sort of felt like hopping on the bandwagon of these, uh, these death game video games that keep being made. Alright, so three enemies on each side. Kind of incentivizes you to split up. 
Ooh, I can even hit reach attack range. Neat. This is gonna hurt. How'd you like that? How do you like them apples? Ow. Let's go. Rude. Healer on my side, probably. Yeah. Let's get this on show on the road. How far can you reach? Ooh, I can go behind you. But then I get then I'm opening myself up to a counter to be getting a rear attack. Which is not ideal. Here. Like his little double stab. Too slow. He seems to be a, an effective uh, combatant in that context. I'll tear him apart. Got Let's do this. Come on. Uh oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, and he survived. On my way. We had a miss. I probably should have used the unmissable attack thing. <laughs> Is that really all? If I'm lucky, that guy won't. E if I'm lucky, that guy won't even be able to reach me in one movement action, and then he'll be in, in range to get attacked by everyone at, at once, which would be great. Don't use you so much. Seventy-five percent chance to hit is not great. His gift is Link. Copy ally stats and be linked. Share recovery effects. Not a bad thing to have. How long does it last? I wonder. Maybe should maybe the other character should go first. Mind's eye. It adds one analysis. Higher damage with more analyses. So he, she straight up has the attack that he had. So he has that now. He has, she has Mind's Eye and Armor Crush. That's interesting. And there's Dive. Cannot be countered. Alright. I'm curious in trying to link up with the flying character if I can. Synchronize. In part, I'm wondering if that gives him an insane movement range. Because she has a great movement range, and I'm wondering if linking up with her gives him a great movement range too. Wow, she gets missed so often. Please don't turn out to be the traitor at any point, please. <laughs> I'm really hoping she doesn't turn out to be the traitor be Let's at some this. point because uh, she seems really effective in general. <laughs> and that would really screw me. Uh, you're the one that has the ranged attack back there, so you should probably go first. You're, yeah, all you have is that link and nothing else. Yeah. It's all about that mail that gun attack. If he can't counter, and they're both in attack range, only one of you. Damn it. Come on. Oh well. He can't. He can't fight back. Move out. Could do a sweep, or but a normal attack would actually trigger an assist. I should set myself up so you can fight both of them. Is that way when the melee guy attacks this dude, they'll both help. Hostile down. We got a back attack and a crit. <laughs> Let's do this. Away we go. We don't know what those things are yet. It's some weird thing that has like fists or something? I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. He's weird looking. He looks like he might have melee attacks. No. It kind of looks like he has one blade and one cannon or something. He's a weird looking enemy. enemy. Anyway. Double assist. This should be good. 
and you can practically kill him, kill him just on your own, too. I should be using him more. He seems like an effective melee character. I think I was just prioritizing George because there was more friendship bond, and that's supposed to affect assist or something. Although, it really feels like just everybody assists every time, no matter what, so... I'm not 100% certain on that. There we go, I just want to be in attack range for both of them if I can. This may sting. There we go. How's this? Here I go. Kind of unfortunate. Let's do this. I was hoping that guy would die. Here I go. Can you reach him? I mean, they would both help you against him, so... Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. I seem to get you in a range. Huh. Good. Alright, he's finished. Now let's stomp this guy. Between the the heavy attack and two assists, I think I think he'll go down. And now it'll just be down to the greens. There we go. Just needed just needed no one to miss. All right, now we need to deal with these question mark enemies. Oh, they're weird looking. They have one eye and they look like they have a gun and a claw hand. Okay. Let's do this. That's all I got to do. He's not gonna counter me. Maybe that's a club weapon and a claw weapon? Or a club weapon and a blade weapon? Like they're both melee attacks? Well, that's rather abusable. And away we go. On my way. Yeah, he's not set up to counter me. Good. He's already down. Don't get in my way. It's gonna go down pretty cleanly then. Move out. Whoa. Hi. Come Research log. Neat. Uh, that was unnerving. How I just flew up the wall like that. I guess she has a very, very true that she doesn't care about uh, height when she moves around, apparently. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Don't get in my way. Range people first. Out of my way. There you go. Now. Not. Not Let's yet, but we're close. How's this? Well, who's next? Oh, we got ourselves a research log. I'm not an admirer of that judgment system. Yeah, what was that machine? To make someone disappear just like that. What's odd is, the moment it was complete, we were able to continue our ascent. What sort of mechanism governs that process? I doubt we'll find a scientific explanation to that. Still, what kind of contraptions has the End placed in this tower? A being with supernatural powers. Hmm. I'd rather not think such a thing is possible. Does it matter? The enemy's still the enemy, whatever powers he has. Something wrong, Himeno? Looks like there's something bothering you. My mind's still on the traitor. It makes me wonder what exactly they're fighting for. Another point to consider. After all, what is gained by betraying us? That's right. Every one of us wants to save the world. Could... could there be someone who wants the world... destroyed? Sounds like a boring hobby. An atrocious hobby, more like it. Everything that lies ahead is the result of events which have already occurred. We kill one of our own, and the result is a stairway to the next stratum. Now there is talk of another traitor among us. This could mean serious consequences. Another one, huh? That traitor could be you, though. 
<laughs> Why, yes. And it could be said of you as well. Knock it off. We're playing right into the end's hands. You seem quite at ease. But I suppose that's to be expected. There's no way you're the traitor after seeing the end look at you with such malice in his eyes. Who knows? Maybe he's trying to fake us out so we don't suspect him as the traitor. For someone who's 98% moron, you say some clever things from time to time. You don't think that number's a little too high, do you? It may have been a sincere dislike. It may all just be an act. But either way, you are an irregular among us. Whatever the truth is, you're the one who holds the key. Me? I'm not so sure about that. It feels like they needed an excuse for him to be somehow immune to the whole... Like, like they needed him to be immune to the whole voting system, so they just came up with a really kind of weak setup of like, he kind of glared at you, so I guess you're good. <laughs> and everyone else is to be suspected in this death game, but not you, I guess. That seems really weakly set up in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's not, that's not great. Uh, there's also that weird line where they're like, where, uh, Nagi said that, what, she said, she said, uh, a man with supernatural abilities? I'd rather not think that such a thing exists. I'm like, what do you think everyone in this game is? Don't they, are they all people with supernatural abilities? Does that, do they not think that that's supernatural, the gifts? That feels like a slight, slightly wonky translation, like they were saying something more specific than just supernatural at the time. Maybe apocalyptic powers? They've got to be questioning why he's setting up this weird game in the first place, because like, he's just pitting all of us against each other one by one, and then lets us continue forward. Like, you think he would just lock us in one of those rooms and then just s leave us there forever if he wanted us to lose? So he's weirdly letting us ch pursue him, so he must want us to come after him, which raises some questions. Alright, so time to hear if I, anything sounds like traitory from this one. And if I'm correct about how this system works, then we should see Mana, Nagi, Sahiro, Maeda, and Ajito on this next screen, and nobody else. And then we'll see. And if that's the case, then it does reflect who's in my party. Alright, we have to do this part. Woo! Everyone gets a level, because that's actually a decent spike of experience. Everyone's level 10 now. Alright. So, Mana, Nagi, Sohiro, Maeda, and Ajito. Could there really be a traitor? Someone is going to try serious consequences. things. What in the world are these voices? They go a little fast, but I think that was exactly who I said it would be. I think that's exactly who I said it would be, and I heard the weird sound again. I keep seeing images after battle. Is it from the minds of those I was fighting with? There are dark voices among the others. Is it the traitor? Perhaps I should pay attention to when I hear suspicious voices and when I don't. All right, well, based on that, I'm gonna just draw an X on all those circles real quick. So that one of those five may be the traitor. All right, vision. Uh, lobby command vision has been unlocked. Here you can gather information about, uh, you need to deduce the traitor's identity and check information related to the impending voting process. The information is divided by tabs and you can toggle between them with left, right, left and right bumpers. Trust level. You can check the trust levels between the selected character and other allies by using the left and right directional buttons. The higher the portrait appears, the, tr the higher the trust level. However, some characters rely less on trust levels or, or for judgment decisions. Increase trust levels by doing s such things as going on missions together and healing them when they need it. Score ranking. Score is a numerical representation of how much each character has contributed in battle. 
you can check the values of the ranking here. Highly ranked characters will also have more votes than the others. Scores may affect characters' voting decisions, so higher ranking characters will be less likely to receive votes. But just like the trust levels, the influence varies for each character. Expected vote results. You can check the results of the votes in the judgment were to happen at this point. During the actual judgment, show's votes will be added to this exp uh, expectation. That's concerning. Right, because they'll still vote without me. I only have so much power. Vision history. The vision history screen is the most crucial resource to aid you in finding the traitor. This history will display how, m uh, how many suspicious voices displayed in the red during... Uh, displayed in red during vision screens after each quest were uh, heard in the past ten quests. Wait, what? Oh, so that's it's like they're t are they taking the notes for me? I thought I had to take the notes. There will be three members per stratum who you may hear suspicious voices from. Figure out who you're hearing these voices from by clearing quests with various team compositions and comparing them in the history. Once you have an idea of who the voices are coming from, you can press the X button in vision history screen to mark them. Using deep vision. Once you've figured out the three suspicious voices, press the A button on the character to bring up the marker menu and select deep vision. You can use one VP vision point to enter a mini game to discover whether or not that character is truly a traitor. Oh my god. There's so much to this all of a sudden, so like, they were- basically the mechanics almost didn't exist yet. Like, you have to see George be the traitor, and then they teach you how to actually catch them. So I wasn't just being stupid, uh, there actually was like, more the game had to tell me. Allies will not always remain your allies. Because of the end scheme, new traitors will appear each floor. But I didn't hear any suspicious voices from this character in the last floor. But I checked this character with deep vision in the last floor, and they weren't a traitor. With each new floor, characters may re remember their true allegiance. Because everyone has amnesia, so anyone can become the traitor every floor. <laughs> oh, man. I kind, I kind of want to play a board game of this. Oh my god, they could totally make a board game out of this, because... Uh, there's, al there's already tabletop games out there where everyone is handed out their roll card. Like, the, like, what, like what team they're on anonymously each turn and then everyone looks at them. It happens in uh, Bang, uh, Resistance, uh, Secret Hitler, other games, uh, Ultimate Werewolf, Inquisition, uh, Salem, a bunch of other ones. Uh, they could totally make a game out of this, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, I play a lot of tabletop games. I literally live in a house where there's a giant shelf of tabletop games. They're not mine. It's just I moved in with people that already had a bunch of them. It's great. We're playing. We've been playing Twilight Imperium uh, Fourth Edition weekly lately. It's great. <laughs> so I think that's where I'm gonna get the most satisfaction from this game. It's a it's a turn-based strategy uh, JRPG where in between that I play a tabletop game essentially. And so, I don't think I'm going to get satisfying narrative explanation for who's a traitor and who's not, but at least I can play the tabletop game mechanically, essentially, for, for who is what. <laughs>